to do ISO pops. So first things first, you're going to want to find a flat surface. Now you want to avoid concrete and hardwood floor, something that will scratch your hoop up. That's why I'm sitting on the grass because this is a brand new hoop and I do not want to scratch it. So if you don't really care about your hoop getting scratched and that's fine. Like me, I have a hoop dedicated to concrete hooping because it is just scratched to shit. Anyways, so first thing you're going to want to learn is the basic isolation. Now, if you haven't seen this, I have a video called basic off-body hooping and basic isolations I believe is the first tutorial in that video. So we talked about leading with your thumb and leading with your pinky. For this particular isolation you're going to want to lead with your pinky because once you make a complete isolation your right hand if you're like me and you use your right hand, your right hand will be at six o'clock and your thumb's going to be pointing towards nine o'clock. You're just going to push it out. Now if you're left-handed, do the complete opposite. Right. But I'm going to stick with right hand because this hand doesn't know what it's doing. You're going to push out. So remember, practice the leading with your pinky isolations. Push out. Now. When your arm is across your body as you push out, this is where the floor comes in handy. So the hoop is going to glide across the floor while your hand glides across the top, just like a regular isolation. Now, the best way to learn is to only do half at a time. So I'm going to show you in slow motion and I'm going to explain it more in depth. like we talked about in basic isolations, how you roll over your pinky, over your knuckles, over your pointer finger, and you grip the hoop. You're just gonna bring it back down, keeping that picture frame image. All right, so once you get this down, try to just extend. Instead of staying in the middle, try to just extend. So you're going to push, follow through, let the hoop glide on the ground, across the top with your hand, pushing it all the way out, straightening your arm. This is the trick to this isolation, keeping your arm straight. Because when I first started doing it, I was doing this, and it just, I was wondering why it looks so weird. Well, you got to straighten your arm out, and it's gonna be weird it's gonna feel different and your arms are probably gonna be super sore so when you straighten it out let the hoop glide across the ground as your hand switches directions rolling over your knuckles over your pinky gripping pushing it out and you can just make it a continuous cat eye this is a great stall technique whenever you're in your flow and you don't know what to do because everybody's like what is happening oh my god this is blowing my mind it's great so don't worry about if you can't get this down right away 
most of the tricks it took me a really long time to learn and once you get the flow of it it kind of just comes naturally because um, it is a circle remember it just continuously flows and if you always remember that you're gonna remember oh my gosh I can do anything it's a circle it just kind of rolls around like a ball but it's hollow and I can put my head inside it's whenever we get deeper in um, tutorials I'll start showing how to get into certain moves and I'll do videos on moves that we've already learned and um, make a little routine out of it so I hope this video helps happy you bee